Welcome to this web tutorial on how to make your own website. On this tutorial, you will be seeing all the steps I took to create this website you're looking at right here. So you will be seeing how you use strips, how you place anchors, insert videos, insert images, have an anchor menu, have a contact form, and much, much more. Also, we'll be talking about how you add a new page, have a gallery with your own pictures or stock pictures, how to add your uh, a blog into a website, and you will all be seeing that in 40 minutes of me doing this actually in Wix. So what is Wix? Wix is a super easy to use website editor where you can mostly use drag and drop to create all the elements that you can see here. It's really easy to use. You don't need any uh, coding knowledge of HTML or CSS, and actually um, you get a mobile version of the website just as well. So that's why I use it. If you click the link in the description box below, you'll just be taken to the page where I started, and then you can follow me step by step. So let's get started. By clicking the link in the description box, you will land on this site. This is the landing page, and you just click on Start My Website, and click New User, enter your email address. You choose a password. Click on Go. You have to type it again because it's a new sign up. And re enter your password. And sign up. And it's that easy. Here you can select what, if you already know what kind of website you need, uh, for, to choose like f f what purpose your website should serve. Or if you're like me, to, you just want to browse all the templates, just click on all templates and you are in the template browser. Here you can see all the templates Wix has to offer for you. And most of them are free. Some are probably priced, but I've never used a priced one before. The free ones just look amazing, as you can see. If you find one that you kind of like for the design, you can go on View. It opens up a new tab where you can see that template, like how it would look in your browser. So this is the website, the template, how it would look in your browser. The cool thing about Wix is you can change all the text and the pictures and the background if you, choose, uh, if you choose to use this template. So if you see one, like this looks pretty amazing for a tech website, then you can go to edit this site. And of course you can look at, okay, what did they have in, on the website as well. For me, I'm not going to use a pre-made template. I go on blank template and use a one-page layout. Let's just uh, view it so you can get a better understanding of how it will look. So this is a simple one-page layout template with which I'm going to work with in this tutorial. You click on Edit this site, and you enter the Wix website editor. Uh, it's loading, and here we are. This is your bread and butter where you design your own website. I'm going to just quickly go over some things in, on this page to explain to you, okay, what are the important parts. So one, the most important part is the pages menu. If you click on it, you can see all the pages you have on your website. Because we use the one, play, uh, one page layout, you can only see one uh, page, but if you, with two clicks, you can add a new page, name it. I know for a fact that I want to have a gallery page, and like this, I create a new page. While you're editing the website, this is where you choose on which part of your website you're going to work on. So the gallery page is empty, and uh, that, that's that. As you can see, if you create a new page, you automatically get the new page uh, shown on the horizontal menu. You can actually choose not to um, show it on the menu by going on hide, then the gallery page wouldn't be shown. But I want people to access it, so I'll just put it on show. You have some different um, uh, things here. So site, this is important later. I'm going to show it later when you go on uh, site settings where you uh, customize your SEO, so search engine optimization. The next is toolbar. Uh, tools here, you can show the toolbar. You can take off the grid lines if you want to. I like to wor uh, work with them because they make it really easy to like organize, OK, where is my page? Where should I put things? And it just keeps it looking neat. The last one is uh, Snap to Objects. If you have objects on your page, let me just check in Home. For example, you have this anchor button. Everything in Wix is actually drag and drop. So if you click it, and then you can drag it around, 
And these lines you see right here, these are the snap to object uh, to, to object um, tool. So if you uncheck it, it wouldn't show you the alignment on the page. I like to w work with them. I think they are a great help. So I'll just keep them on. On this side, um, you have the undo and view. This is the editor view. So if you use uh, Wix, you can just check the mobile view out, how it looks. And preview is where you can see how it looks on your real website. So this is how it will look on your uh, mobile. And of course, for my editing side, I like to use the desktop view. Uh, zoom out and view order, I'm going to show it later. But uh, for a quick view, you can just like drag a whole part of the page around where you set your anchors, I think. So it's really easy if you add content that it looks clean on the whole. Uh, this is the toolbar. This is important if you um, add images. We'll go into that later when we start editing images. So this is the right side. And here, the five buttons, those are your creative things. So on background, as the name says, you can change your background color, image, video. Uh, for now, we have a white tish, where it's white probably, a uh, background color. You click on color, and then you can change the background color, color really easily. One thing that I found out is if you click on change, you can actually use different color palettes for the whole site. So if you uh, look closely, um, not only does the background change its color, but also the text and the, uh, well, the text changes color. So if I'm not really good with color and making color palettes, then you can choose one of them that fits you or you like the look of it, and then you can use that as your color palette. I'm pretty um, fine with this, so I'll just keep it. If you want to use an image as a background, you can upload your own images if you want to, or you can use free images from Wix. I think this is one really good aspect of Wix where you can have a lot of free images that you can just use on your website and you don't have to pay. So there are landscape images, abstract images, and they even have a link to big stock images where you have uh, more uh, artistic paid images where you have to pay for an image. But for my needs for this, uh, I can actually use uh, images as well. You can have textures and patterns as well if you like. So to change it, you just click it and then go on change background and then you have the pattern in the background. I will just use white for now. So I'm, um, wait a second. Yeah, this is the background I'll use. So I'll just use a color. A video is the same. You have some preset uh, videos that would be your background in a, so that's that. Then um, now I'm going to start editing the site. So it looks, uh, it fits my needs. First of all, the name of site, I'm going to edit, click on edit text and start uh, editing it to Wix tutorial 2016, for example. Here, you can choose the site theme. So site title, page title, it all, they all have different layouts. These are preset layouts. Or you can use your own font, choose the font size as you see fit and make it italic or not. I think I need to highlight this to actually change it. Yeah, that's it. So you need to highlight and then you can change it around. If you want to change the color or want to have a highlight, or if you actually want to link it, it's all here. You have some effects here and you can change spacing and alignment as well, just like if you would use in Word for numberings and bullets and stuff. So this is how you change uh, the text in a website. So we finished editing our text. Now I want to show you a really good feature in Wix, which, uh, which are strips. You see one example here. This is a strip which goes through horizontally through the uh, whole page. If you want to add your own strip, you can go on Add button and then click on Strip. You have here the classic layouts. Be but because we have already one inserted, we're going to use this one. So if you click on it, you can change the strip background to either uh, a color. So just a color, an image from Wix. Uh, let's just show you. So, or a video. I like the video features a lot because it brings movement into your website and makes it a bit more eye-catching, especially on the first uh, page, on the top of the page, 
which is what most people will see, or actually all the people will see if they land on your website. So I'm using the underwa underwater uh, video. Now you click play and you see how it would look on your website. It just looks so, yeah, it just looks good if you have a short video there. On settings, you can uh, make it play in a loop or even change the playback speed. So if you want something to move in slow motion, if you have your own video that you want to have as a strip, you can change the playback speed to have a, a effect there. And that's how you add a strip. Now one thing, one more thing here in the strip, in the toolbar, you can change the height of the strip. So now it's like at 393 pixels. I want it to be wider, a bit wider. So I go on 500, click enter, and it's a wider strip. I like this. Uh, I like it to be a bit wider to um, have a bigger effect when they land on your page. One thing I forgot to mention before when I was talking about this menu upstairs is the, uh, these three buttons. So the safe thing, it's clear if you are while you're editing, you want to save often so you can use your site. The first time you save, you actually have to uh, choose a domain for the free version. So I'm just calling it uh, Wix to, or because uh, it's a combination of your username and Wix.com and this page. So the first domain should be home for me. Later, I'll show you how you can use your own customized domain uh, after we upgrade, but for now, we'll just continue using the free version. So that's how you save, and as you can see, your site was saved, and let's continue. Now that we saved our site, let me explain the difference between publish and save. Save is only for you while you're editing your website. You just save your changes that nothing gets lost if your computer just crashes or something, and publish is if you press this, people can actually access the website on the domain you just set up. So uh, as a suggestion, I'd like to work on a website until it's finished and then I'll publish it, uh, but I will save often in between. But we were talking actually about the preview feature. I'm uh, The preview feature, you can actually see how the website looks on your browser as if you are on your browser. So your viewers, uh, or your website w visitors will see the website just as in this preview. And now I notice, okay, this strip is actually a bit too long and it covers the about sign, so I'm going to change this now. Uh, click on strip. I'll go from um, 500 to 450. And this is great. Okay, let me just edit this text in here. Real quick, edit text using strips look good. Okay, then let me just um, show you how you can edit an anchor. You can change the text by clicking on change text. And I want to add our link to it. So how we produce these videos and still charge nothing or uh, we don't get money by um, for producing this video, but we get a commission fee from Wix if you sign up on Wix using our link, which is in the description box or which is this link right here. Uh, this just, uh, it doesn't um, make the upgrade fee any larger for you. We just get a small cut from Wix for every sign up, and that's what helps us keep these videos free. So please, uh, if you want to try Wix, use the links below. Now let's continue. We changed the text here. Let me show you how you can add some elements and also change uh, images, for example. So you can click on uh, change in images, upload your own images, and one new feature from Wix is you can use social images. So you can link your Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive account here. You just, uh, I'll just show, quickly show you, if you click on it, you have a pop-up where you put your in, uh, username and password on, and then you can browse your Instagram and Facebook uh, photos just as you would on your browser. So it's really easy to uh, upload your own images you already have shared online. For now, um, <laughs> let me change this image to something from Wix. Uh, let's choose an animal. Um, let's take this cheetah so I can show you some uh, inbuilt editing abilities of Wix. One thing you can do is the crop feature. Here you can say, okay, for example, you want to 
cheetah in the, in the center, so you crop it to 140%, apply it, and the images, uh, image changes like this. In crop, you can drag the image around to fit your framing needs, so I want the cheetah to be on the right side, okay, apply. And Wix also has some inbuilt image filters. So you can look around, try some filters on. And I, I think it's really cool for Wix that you can actually use filters inside the builder and not having to use a different program to edit your images to make the crude uh, image editing. So this is a really cool feature by Wix that is pretty easy to use. Now we know how we, we have been editing the things that were already in the template, I'll just quickly show you how you can add your own element. So I'm going to delete this um, text box by going on delete on my keyboard and I'm going to delete this button as well and I'm going to insert a video here. On add you can see all the options you have, what you can add like shapes and things but for now let's add a video. So just two clicks and you have your own YouTube video. So let's set up a link for this video. Um, you just, I have one link ready, co already copied on my keyboard and I'm just clicking update and there you go, you have the thumbnail of the YouTube video. Now I want this video to be a bit larger and I want to take this picture down but when I use this it overlaps with the services part. So how you can do that is you go on zoom out and view order and you click on this drag space and you just drag the whole page down so you create a bit more space. I think I need the picture to uh, the video to span the whole width and the picture so about this should be fine. Then I'll take the picture, drag it down and these lines really do help guide the process of dragging and resize this, make it larger. Um, and voila, we have the video perfectly aligned. I'm using uh, my keyboard for fine-tuned mu movements that the video moves uh, one, pix one pixel at a time. So now you see how you can change the image and add a video. Let's continue with, okay, this part, you have a lot of shapes here. And if you click on shape, it's actually pretty interesting. You can let your creativity fly by using the inbuilt shapes, coloring it in a different way, looking for shapes that represent the information you want to uh, show. So they have a lot of basic shapes and you can actually play around with this a bit. You can change the color, make a link here, whatever you want. So it's really easy to make like 2D animations or shapes to insert in your um, website. Uh, and here uh, we already have a gallery and I'm going to go to gallery so I'm going to delete this uh, images plane and make it actually let me just delete this whole part and reorder this so the bottom contact form comes up uh, like this. Perfect. So now let's go to the gallery page and add uh, some pictures. Just as before, you have inbuilt galleries with a lot of options. I'm looking around and I'll just start using these honeycomb triangles because I just like the shape of it. And you have the um, already the stock images of Wix inside. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how you can change the images. First of all, you can uh, remove the images one by one like this and then the gallery will become empty. Let me just quickly do this. And then I'm going to add images with the same uh, image browser from Free Wix. And I'm going to show you a quick little trick how you can add more images into the browser. So let's say I want more animals in my gallery. You click one, you press down shift on your uh, keypad and you click uh, to the one where you want to stop. And then you have selected like uh, probably 16 images and you can add multiple images on to the gallery. And I think it uh, is the same way when you want to add images from your social media. So it's a really neat trick that you don't have to add them one by one. We're done and you have the images 
in here. So that's how you make a uh, gallery page. One thing, some of you might want to uh, start blogging on your website, so let's just add a blog. So just click on this B icon, go on Add Now, and Wix also has a really intuitive blog uh, manager. As you can see, it created a new menu, which is the blog. You have the blog page. This is how your blog page would look, and you can actually customize this later. For now, let's just add a new blog post so I can show you the editor for how you can manage your blogs and uh, how publishing works. So it's just an engaging title. You can write your post here. You can put in images, galleries, videos, HTML code, whatever you like in your text part. And now here, you can directly publish the post. But one thing, you can actually schedule a post in from inside of Wix. So you can say, OK, I want to publish daily, but you have uh, five uh, texts already um, in your draft. You just click on a day you want to have it published, set the time, and then you have a scheduled post. Uh, for now, um, let's just publish this as is. And now um, it is published. Let's go back to the blog editor. And as you can see, the, blog, uh, the text was published. This manager of uh, manager blog uh, gets you to the editor where you can um, manage all the blog posts, the drafts, the schedules, and even featured um, articles. And you can manage your cate categories and tags, like all the things you need to have a successful blog. <coughs> And now let me just show you, OK, you have some blog elements. On my blog, you can add some new elements, like recent posts, which categories, RS buttons, everything's here. You just, on, as on your website, you can just click and delete, for example, if you don't like it. Or you can uh, make a actually a rectangle shape with your mouse. Let me just and drag it around. So you can change the lay layout of your page uh, any way you see fit. So I can group them and then use them over here or there. But for now, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with the basic design. So that's how you uh, create a blog and add it to your page. Now, we created about three pages worth of um, uh, new pages, but we because we used the one page layout, I would like to use the anchors. I'll explain quickly what anchors are. So here, if you move the toolbar to the left, you can see those black, uh, those blue signs with an anchor for a ship. And these are called anchors. And I'm going to quickly show you what they do. First of all, you can add anchors. It's a bit um, hidden under more. And here, under anchors, you just click it, and then you have a new anchor. And you can move it on any, uh, any place you like. So for example, I'm going to use this on the contact form, add a contact anchor. And because we deleted the uh, work page, I'm going to delete this work anchor. Now, how do you use them? Well, you go on the pages menu, and you can not only add a page, but add a link to your menu. You can add email and web addresses, but what you can add are anchors too. So you can make an anchor which goes to the page anchor to about. If you click done, you have a new anchor. And this is the about page, so I'm call, going to call that menu a about page. So it was added here. Let me just quickly add the second anchor too, and then I'll show you the functionality of those anchors. Um, services. And the last anchor, contact. Done. Contact. Now let's quickly go on preview and check out how anchors work. So f this is the first uh, page everybody sees. And you have the menu points that you can click on. So if I click on About, it automatically moves to the anchor you set. If I click on Services, it goes down to the anchor I set there. And if I click on contact, it goes down here. It actually shows the same pages because we don't have a lot uh, under our page. So it just um, scrolls down until you can see the whole form there. And that's how you use anchors. I think they are really important to use uh, if you have a one-page layout. Let me just quickly show you um, 
uh, while using anchors, uh, that if I go back to the preview just to show, if I click on services, the anchor menu is gone, right? So for people who want to navigate a pretty long one page website, they have to scroll back up. It's not really ideal. So what you can do, there are actually two ways. One way is to go on the uh, menu here, manage menu, uh, well, it's actually to go on the header and go on settings and freeze the header. So what this does is, Anywhere you go on the page, the header is still shown all the time. So even if you go on contact and are on the bottom of the page, you can quickly go up, up on the top of the page or to a new page. This is one way. Sometimes it's really good that you have the contact thing because, uh, well, people just can use this intuitively. The other way is to add an anchor menu, which is... Let me just see more under anchors, and then you have different anchor menus. Let me just use this for an example. So this adds a menu on the right side of the page, which will stay there uh, wherever uh, you are. Let me just, okay. Click on settings, match the background, that's good. Manage the menu, and we have three anchors. So these are still in the anchor. In preview, what it does is, okay, if we go down, you see this menu is all the time uh, is on the right side all the time. So here we have like the header and the anchor menu. Mostly, I would choose one over the other. I'll just show you quickly if the header is not frozen, how it looks. Um, unfreeze the header preview. Now I go to services, and you have the anchors here. So th those are the two ways you can use the anchors. I'm actually just, let me just quickly create an anchor for the top page because I would love to have an anchor right here that goes on the top of the page or the home page. Create this real quick. And now it was added in the anchor menu. So anytime you create a new anchor, it will actually automatically get added to the anchor menu, but not automatically added on the horizontal menu. As you can see, we have like a pretty a lot of um, um, points here in the horizontal menu. And let me just quickly show you how you can add and remove these from the menu, but still make them accessible. Uh, I think in the beginning of the video, I showed how you can hide a page by going under hide, and then nobody it is just not accept as accessible from the menu. But another thing you can do is, okay, for example, we have three pages, the blog, gallery, and the home page, and these are anchors. You click them and drag them to the right and indent them in the pages menu. And what it does is, if you go up and on the preview part, if you hover over the home thing, it makes a drop down menu where you can click the anchors and access them that way. So it's uh, if you have a lot of pages here and you have like um, overarching categories where you can. Um, um, put those pages together, it makes sense to make a drop-down menu like this. One little quirk of Wix actually is if you go here and then you want to undo it, I just found out you have to start from the bottom to undo. So I'm just, uh, we have seven points, I'm not really concerned about the menu being too large for now. So these are uh, how you can make navigation for your visitors easy on our website and um, that's, um, that about concludes how you can add content to your website and make the navigation easy. So actually, before I forget, um, we have a contact form here. And for m some websites, it's really important that you have a contact form. It's pretty easy to use. You just click on set your email, you enter your email address. If you want, you ha can enter your second email address. And then you can change the contact form from uh, what you include in the contact form. You can say, okay, if it's mandatory or optional, and it's pretty easy to use. You can change the design as well from, like, for example, this one or this one. I'll go with this, actually. And that's one thing. Then one thing, uh, one other thing, the social media bar. So you have a social bar here. Let's set the social links as well. So you click here, then you add your uh, Facebook link, your Twitter link, and your Google Plus link if you have it. And you can also add uh, all the icons like 
from a lot of services, Yelp, YouTube. Let's just add YouTube because we are using a YouTube video. <laughs> so, okay, and that's how you use your uh, social links. And you can all, of course, drag them around like everything in this uh, in the Wits editor. So, um, so this is almost all the basic building blocks you need to build your website. This is just for the basics. And if you need more customizable options, like you want to open a shop or you want some um, booking for a hotel or something, there are actually a lot of apps. Uh, I would actually call them more like widgets that you can insert in your website for um, basically most of the needs you would have for a website. So you can have the apps for online store, which Actually, you have a Wix uh, store, online stores. If you want to start a store, you have different apps for bookings, business tools, marketing tools, music. You can add music. I mean, the, the, I think Wix, the good thing about Wix is you have a really intuitive design and you can use it. And, you, and it's really easy to add the things that you need without a lot of knowledge about coding. And that's why I prefer to use Wix when I'm creating the websites I'm, um, I want to create. So because we finished building our website, let's publish it. Before I just quickly save it. And then I'm going to publish this. And we'll check it out how it looks on the domain that we set up. Uh, yeah. Our site is published. Let me copy this. I could click on view site, but as a test, I'm going to open up a new tab. And there we are. So this is the finished website, how you would see it on your browser. You can probably connect this website if you use this domain right now. Um, and as you can see, because we are using the free service, we have these little Wix ads. Uh, included in our website. They just follow you around on the header and footer. Uh, for some websites, I don't think they're as intrusive as they can be. I remember they used to be bigger on the bottom. But if you want to remove them or you want to have a own domain without the .wix.com, you would need to upgrade and pay. Uh, for in the sake of this tutorial, I will go through the steps to upgrade your website right now. So let's go back to the editor. So back to the editor, let's go on upgrade. And well, let's just go over quickly the, the things you can do with an upgraded website. So the one thing I touched on it, the free domain. The second is uh, you get extra storage and extra bandwidth. The third is pretty important to that you can connect to Google Analytics so you can um, see how many visitors your site has, where on which pages they are. And I will go into that later after I upgrade it by creating an, uh, um, a Google Analytics account. And the fourth uh, is to remove the Wix brand ads. So for now, let's just compare plans, what uh, Wix offers. Wix offers four basic plans, which you can pay on on a yearly or a monthly basis. I opened up the monthly plan. Of course, yearly plans are just a bit cheaper because you uh, put the money up front. Uh, the Main differences between them are, okay, the e-commerce one is just for uh, for an online shop. You only, you only get an online shop by going to the e-commerce one. So if you have an online shop, you go for e-commerce. And those three are um, the options if you have uh, different needs. So let me just go quickly over the pros and cons of each option. One thing is, okay, the most basic connect domain plan, that gives you uh, oh, your own domain name. Name So this domain with the .wix.com will be removed, but the ads will stay. The combo plan removes the ads and gives you a bit more storage space than the most basic plan. So this is uh, what I'm probably going to choose because I'm not expecting a lot of bandwidth. Bandwidth is how much data you can transfer to your site to your visitors. So if you have a low bandwidth, then the website will respond slower if the two gigabytes are used up in bandwidth. And unlimited is for people who just have a really high traffic website who expect a lot of people to come who want to have a lot of uh, storage so they can upload their pictures and videos and whatnot on their website. So for us, we're going to have the combo plan and for now we'll choose the monthly plan. So you just click on buy now. And you pay. I'm just going to uh, edit this out and grade this out while I uh, 
insert uh, our numbers because, well, privacy matters. So I'll see you then. So I filled out my information. And as you can see, you have a 14 days money back guarantee. If you don't like uh, how your website looks, you can get your money back. And I'm satisfied, so let's submit the purchase. So as I told you earlier, you can now choose your domain. The one thing, if you have a domain name in mind, you can just type it in and search for it. Is available, then you get it. Oh, so because I chose the monthly plan, I didn't get a free domain, but if you choose a yearly plan on Wix, you get a free domain, so you wouldn't have to pay here. Uh, for now, I'll just uh, reserve the domain for one year. Fill out my contact info. I'm going to make a cut here, so you can, uh, I'll gray this out. And it's all filled out, so let's go on continue. Now you can choose between a private registration and a public registration. Um, as you can see, this is recommended because if you choose to re uh, register publicly, um, all the information, this is grayed out, but you can read it if you are here, uh, will be exposed on a net web. That means that uh, if somebody looks up your domain, then they will get all the information. It's your name, email address, address, and your cell phone number or phone number you use to register the, your domain. So I would definitely recommend going with a private registration. So let me just quickly fill out the uh, information. And it's all filled out, so let's submit this purchase. Okay, so Wix gives us a little option where you can actually get a personalized mailbox. As you can see, all the mailboxes are with the at Wix Tutorial 2016, which is the domain we registered, and we can use uh, the uh, mail address with our website. For our website, we don't need it, so we just go on close and are back on our now upgraded website. Let's just check that out real quick. So we had the uh, domain wixtutorial2016.com. Let's access it. And there we are. This is the upgraded website without the, um, the free ads and uh, with our own domain. So let me just quickly close some tabs and show you what new features we unlocked on Wix. Okay, leave this page, go back, go back, go back. And let's open our wix.com on our sites. So now, as you can see, we unlocked uh, the domain wixtutorial2016.com and the premium package combo. Now, on this dashboard, you can actually do much more than before. So first thing is under domain hosting, you can choose a favicon. I'll just upload one right now so you can see what it is. Um, so let's choose uh, something with a bit more contrast, this one, it's a zebra pattern. Now this is our favicon. The favicon is what appears on the tabs of a web browser. So this picture right here is a favicon. We just changed the favicon. So um, let's check back later if it changed this. Different things, uh, the next step for making the website uh, more friendly to use is the analytics tabs. This was locked when you were in the basic mode or in the free version, but now because we are in the combo version, we can use analytics. So to use analytics, we click on um, use analytics. You see uh, your site here, go on analytics, and then you enter the Google Analytics tracking ID. I will show you quickly how you uh, get this Google Analytics tracking ID. And what you do is I'm going to open a tab Go on analyticsgoogle.com. If you don't have a Google account, you may need to create one. Then here, go and sign up. And now you fill out this information right here. Let me just fill this out real quick. So this is all filled up. You just enter the website URL and then choose account name, choose industry and stuff. This one I would just keep checked and then click on get tracking ID. You well, let me read this or not and just click on I accept. And we're here. So this is the tracking ID you need. And this is also the page where you can see all the data that Google Analytics um, collects. So 
I just copied this. You go back to your Wix tab and then you enter the tracking ID and it has been added. And now the Google Analytics will start tracking your uh, website. By using that Google Analytics, you get really a lot of insights on how many visitors your uh, page has, on which page they spend most time on, and it's just a really good tool to track how the visitors uh, use your web page and where they go. So let's just go back to the favicon. I changed this. Um, it should appear right here when I reload this page. And as you see, there's the favicon we just set up. So those are two things that you can uh, use while after you upgrade. I really do like the favicon thing and Google Analytics is just needed as that. One last thing, um, let's talk about SEOs. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. It means that if you have, um, well, how a search engine looks for sites is it looks at the tags that you add into a site and then it categorizes them into, um, into keywords that if, for example, in Google people write a Wix tutorial 2016, then you have to have those tags in your website that it appears higher ranked on a search. What you can do is, okay, you have the uh, SEO wizard or you can use, uh, you can actually update the pages in Wix as well in the editor. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. We go in the editor, we go on pages and go on page info. And here you have uh, SEO. So what's the page title on the search engine? So uh, what would the website name be? Tutorial 2016. And you can fill this out for, you can add like page, a page description, keywords, and you can actually also choose to um, not include it in search results. And you can do this for actually every page you have on your website. It's a bit tiresome to do this, but it's really important that you do if you want to get found by uh, search engines. So if you have, um, just think about uh, what kind of keywords you want to use, what is getting searched, and that's how you optimize your website for the search engine. So you can add your tags like that if you want to, or uh, Wix has an inbuilt um, search engine optimization wizard, which you can access on site settings, SEO, and then use the SEO wizard. You choose your site and then you uh, make an example search phrase that you want to use. So for example, Wix tutorial step-by-step -step 2016 would be a popular search phrase, I think. And then let's just get the report. Now on this page, uh, the SEO wizard shows you, okay, which parts are still need some um, changes to make the search engine optimized. So for example, what is the title? The title of the web page, like the first page they land on is home, as you can see here. So uh, the SEO w wizard says, okay, the, the title is too short. Um, please change a different title. The description of the home uh, thingy, uh, homepage, which we were just editing under pages is still too short, so we should change that. Headline is great, uh, but we would like to, the search engine optimization was, uh, would, would like, uh, likes to have the step-by-step -step inside. And the image name is also not named. So if you, you can actually get a full site report where you can see all the how much text you have, how much unique titles you have, and it just gives you a rough guideline how you can optimize your web page to um, make it search engine friendly. That's something I would put a bit of time into because it really uh, drives the traffic up if you have a search engine friendly website. And this concludes our web tutorial. I hope you had a good time and learned a lot. I'm confident that you have all the basic building blocks necessary to create an awesome looking website using Wix. If you choose to use Wix, please use the link in the description box below to sign up. So when you choose to upgrade, we get a small commission uh, so we can keep these videos free. Till the next time, bye. I want your hand, Alex. Okay, bye. <laughs>